in two thousand and two thousand and eleven, I first met an graduate undergraduate student from Nanjing, a uh, post university, uh, who actually was a Chinese civil uh Chinese citizen who graduate graduated from, uh, from. Uh, Nanjing Post and Telecom Post University. I don't. I don't care. And his name is is Hong Chao. And he's in. Uh, he's, uh, he's a Chinese citizen. I I don't care. And he actually, uh, studied some technical skills and uh, technology, uh, things like that. And working in a, uh, and working. Uh, and uh, you know he he's quite he's quite talkative and he's very, uh, lovely to talk. I don't. Uh, he he's lovely to talk, and he works in. Uh, you, you know, you know when you started your, your job, and you just earn some salary. I don't actually care too much about so called career. And he, me and him, we studied and worked together in a, uh, Chinese company, and, uh, and not not ever, I I'm not so hardworking. I'm not, most of the time I'm I. You know, I relax a little bit, but it's an office job. But when you work in office, you you know, not some people would like to get promoted to an upper class, and then you have to, you know, you have to deal with them, and uh, you have to deal with their harassment. You have you have to deal with their uh, uh, questions, and you have to deal with their customers. And uh, you know, when you started to work, then you manage to. Uh, forget your life. Forget the forget those. Uh, forget those. Um, uh, rules from, uh, from outside, and you 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 were just stuck in a uh in an office, and you you work you day, uh, day and night, and you start to work. You wake up and you come back to office to work. Then you get some salary, and one day probably you you know. Uh, possibly you you can quit your job and do, do and self employed and uh, you know you you can self employed and then you can you can do the uh you can do the jobs uh, at you want and you can say you are a CEO and uh, things like that. But the thing is, inflation is getting high. My, I worked in a private school for English teaching. I have all. Of English study, IELTS, TOEFL, things like that. But this kind of resource was studied, were post and and then can be accessed to, on YouTube. And then you know I watch I use you YouTube in China even though it was, banned and it was banned and, uh, and uh, disconnected in in mainland because of some network restrictions. And by the way, the other thing is, uh, I want. I just want to have fun to work some, to to watch some interesting me um interesting me media's on the internet and another thing is you you come back to office to work, then um then you will meet some more new friends and new colleagues and and you know when and then <coughs> and not and everybody everybody is different you know some people. Want to harass you, so you have to be brave, and you you have to dare to fight back against their bullying, and the bullying exists, and you don't have to be so kind to share your experience because that's two countries. Um, some Chinese people will bull bullying you, but some of Chinese people will help you, and uh, you know uh, I cannot say I respect Xi Jinping because Xi Jinping actually banned the uh, education policy. On China, on Chinese younger generation students, they they don't have to work so hard to, to get to to be promoted things like that. And you know I respect those cleaners, uh I I respect those social workers in China even though they are not so well educated, and uh, you know degree to some extent is not an important thing, to be promoted to an so high. Uh. To to, to be promoted to, to so high level, education is just education. We are we we may, soon, access to. You know. 
DT techno uh, DT error, we we may soon be re replaced by those uh by those uh you know robots. Now we can use chat robot to replace those to replace those uh, customer service center to to replace those call center jobs. And even later, we may access to we may we may be replaced by robot if you are working on the street as a drivers. You 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 may soon be replaced by decision making AI. Machine will be so intelligent later. But nowadays, even though I have been so educated and so hard working on my personal studies, but I'm still so you know so. So eager to to learn and to, and I just most of the time you don't have to care about my opinions too much because that doesn't make any sense actually. I what I want to say is to release and I respect Pei Railing's opinions because you know he told us that some Chinese universities education courses are useless. I do agree with these ideas. Those those kind of. Those kind of you know courses are brainwashed. When you join the labor market, you just work, to, you know, to be a security guard. You don't have to be educated to a university level. And you know what? To be a cleaner at the moment, to be a security, you you don't have to get promoted. And you can self study at home. And as long as you are a healthy man, you can do this kind of job. And even a policeman, you you don't have to. You don't have to be so intelligent to be a policeman. What what you have to do is to be followed by those rules and do whatever the, the the leaders ask you to do. You don't have to think about too much. But the thing is, if you want to get promoted, then competition happens. Then you know you have to argue, you have to fight, you have to, you know, you have to disagree with those kind of ridiculous rules because rules are nothing. There's no policies. And you, you know, living and I know English people are arrogant. You know, I, I'm, I've met them face to face. I gave them food when they are hungry, but they respect. They see, they, but, but they, but they, you know, they disagree with my food. They reject a, a girl, reject my sharing food, even though he's, she's hungry, and she asked me for, have for help, and then I, I gave her. But, but the thing is, her body attitude. Her body attitude tells me nothing. Tells me no. That's that's not right. Actually, that's no. There's no need. There's no need because they need food in London. When when they need food in London, I help them. I help them. I share them with food. For me, I if I'm self even in a queue for emergency food, and that's all right. For me, I think I, I'm doing the right thing. Every day I record myself. Every day I. I I study hard and I I know how tech works, but the thing is, why now I don't want to study tech because I think that's useless. You know. You know, one day your colleagues will approach you for help. You know, then I then I share those po. Then I share those ideas with the with them. I I share. I I share those. You know, the, I share. I want. I'm happy to share. I'm nothing. I. I think I'm nothing. I, the thing is, for me as an as a citizen, as long I'm, as as long as I have food and I can live on, I that's a basic level. But the thing is, people, not every people, not every individual, is happy with the situation. <coughs> not every individual is happy with the situ with his situation. Some people just want to, you know. Suppress you and to show up, and that exists, and it's such a you know, it's a such a competitive environment, and that's how the thing works. Even on YouTube, you want to be a YouTuber, that that's competitive as as well, because the thing is, for me, I'm not so concerned about money. It's not that's nothing to do with my personal background, financial background. It's only because. I'm not so serious about money. I just, I want to be 
happier. I want to be happier. That's why to that's why I get some money to come to those um spa shop to get my foot massage. I I like foot massage. I've met some American travelers, visitors in China, in Shanghai. They they also come to those. They also come to those uh foot massage center for for relax. And of course, another thing is when I'm in a working environment in a public company, I also got harassed by those uh rubbish manager, rubbish manager because you know they want to harass you to show up and to. To let you be afraid, let you be timid, but I'm not afraid. There's nothing to do with my career promotion. I'm just the guy. Don't want to be afraid. And the thing is, as in in this room, in this room, in this small room, as long as I got such a small room, I'm happy. I'm happy enough. That's okay, and that's enough for me. That, of course, I also came across. I lost some money, but I can earn it back. As long as I'm hard working, I can easily earn it back. As long as I work. Most of the time, when I work, then I don't have, then I don't think too much. But the thing is, when I started to work, I I get rid of my skills. Those skills, I, those skills were put on me, were left on me for so many years, so many years. I learned them. I learned them from hands-on experience, from my practical experience. But the thing is, when of course when when I try to get rid of those kind of skills, I feel pity. I feel shame. I feel shame because I have to. I feel shame because I. I discard those kind of skills. The thing is, at my age, I just want to, you know, I just want to get rid of all my age, all my skills. And I'm not joking. I actually, at sometimes, I want to, you know, jump out of those skyscrapers. I, for example, I jump out of the Heathrow Airport. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. It's a crazy day. It's a crazy day.